Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Future Classic which wants you to own and drive the 1993 Nissan 240SX SE to complete all of the challenges with. Now this is the car in question and it will set you back 25,000 credits so it's very very cheap and of course you can get it from the auto show or the auction house. Now as you can see I've got two variants there because I've got two different tunes. Now we're going to be using the race tune throughout this Forza thong guide but there is also a drift one which i will come on to later now the share code for the race tune is 1615378880 and like i said i've stuck with this one throughout all of the challenges now the first challenge here just wants you to hit a top speed of 175 mile an hour so you will definitely need to tune the car in order to get this now I recommend for this one specifically heading over to the Horizon drag strip. Normally I would recommend heading over to the motorway but this area will definitely come in handy for the second challenge. Uh, so this is why I did it for the first challenge as well. It just saves sort of crossing across the map sort of thing. So once you've hit 175 mile an hour for that first challenge that's that complete. Now the next one wants you to earn 10 ultimate drift skills in your car. Now, like I said, I use this race tune to complete this challenge. It was fairly easy enough, to be honest. But for those who might struggle with drifting, I have got a drift tune for it. So it is there called drift tune. And the share code for it is 822192427. And that should hopefully help you guys out if you're struggling to drift using uh, another tune or using the race tune that I provided. Now the ultimate drift skill like it says it doesn't necessarily want you to get an e-drift skill which is where you use the handbrake to initiate the drift it just wants you to get a normal drift skill. Now what I would recommend if you're struggling is to start off by getting an e-drift skill and then the second you change transi transition and direction you'll be getting standard drift skills instead of e-drift skills. So it is fairly easy to do it doesn't take that long although I'm pretty sure it was racking up the ultimate e-drift skills I was getting anyway but there's that challenge super easy to do and like I said I ended up doing it back on that drag strip just because it was easier there. Now the next challenge here wants you to win four street races. Now again this is really easy and I have created a race for you guys to use but for those who haven't yet unlocked street races you need to unlock the horizon street scene which unlocks all of your street races there. Now the race that I chose was the Costa Rocosa. Um, the reason for this is it's just one of the easiest street races to do. Like I said, I have created a specific race for you guys that you can use. Um, I tried creating a small blueprint which didn't actually work. So this one is what I'd recommend doing. So it's called Forzathon Easy. It is the full race, unfortunately. Like I said, I tried creating a short version but couldn't. Uh, share code for this is 429-410-764. What I've done with this one is turn the AI driver tiles off. So you'll just be on your own, which will make life a lot easier and the good thing is you don't actually have to complete this on any specific difficulty it's just a normal Forza thumb now like I said I tried to create a race that was about I can't remember half a mile long or something and it didn't count towards the overall challenge total which was a bit frustrating so I had to do this full race now the good thing is it takes just over two minutes so it's really not that long to be fair uh, and like I said with the AI turn off it makes life a lot easier so there you can see after the first run of that one it's counted so I did it three more times and you'll end up picking up the sort of route anyway so you'll know where to break and start learning the, the route layout out pretty quickly and then by the time you're on your fourth one you'll be cutting down your lap times and you'll have it done in way less than 10 minutes and it's a really easy one to do now once you've done all four of them that will be the challenge complete so it's a nice and easy forza thumb may take a little longer than usual but still very easy to complete now if you're struggling with anything please let me know down, down below in the comments of course i will try my very best to help you out if this did help you out i'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribing massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care